Let's include a really simple node application in a GitHub Actions workflow by checking out our code, installing NPM packages, and then running the application. So we already have our workflow. It's just a simple first job workflow. We are going to update this and just call it build node. And we are going to start implementing all the steps we need to build a simple node application. To start, we're going to create our node application. We are going to start with package.json file. We're going to just create a simple JSON object. Um, the name of this is going to be simple. And our main is going to be an app.js file. Again, with the theme of keeping things simple, uh, we are going to create an app.js file. We'll fill this out in a second. We'll create a dot get ignore. Uh, we'll ignore our node modules folder. And even though we wouldn't do this normally um, for today's demo, and I would never do this in production, we'll ignore the package lock.json file. All right. Now we have Windows Terminal open. We are going to npm install save moment js that's or the moment package for npm that's going to allow us just just run a really nifty app real quick so console.log uh hello demo all right and then the rest of this is going to be our var moment equals require moment nothing too crazy here var date equals moment dot format double uppercase l for a special i'm um, just simple format um i think that's just um the month date and year we'll print that out to the console we'll test this out real quick by just running node app.js hello demo and then the date of this recording so everything looks good simple app built pretty happy with it we're ready to go so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our YAML file and we're going to implement this as a workflow. So two things we really want to implement. The first is we so far we're just checking the versions of Node NPM. Uh, we want to go in and we um, want to bump this up maybe from Node 14 to Node 16. Next thing we want to do is we want to actually check out our GitHub code into this workflow. If we try to NPM install now, this workflow would fail because our code doesn't actually exist. So we'll need to use what's called a GitHub action. Now, if you have never used a GitHub action before, you can go to github.com slash actions. Now I'll take you to the GitHub actions organization. And this is a list of all the first party actions. There's a wonderful GitHub action to check out a repo. Now, the great thing about this is that you can go to Actions, check out V3. Now, check out all the code in the current repository context. That's all you need. So, to use a GitHub action, you just type in Uses, Actions, check out V3, and that's it. Now, when we go to use other actions later, we'll have a with keyword, and that's where you'll be able to specify other properties. We just don't need that quite yet. We'll do another cross-platform script and we'll type in npm install and now install all of our all of our dependencies and we'll do one more script and now we'll do node app.js and now we'll run our node application. So pending no typos, we'll, we'll type in a commit message at implement simple node application. We'll commit our code, sync our changes to our remote GitHub repository. We'll go to our browser, go to GitHub Actions. Looks like our build has already kicked off. There's build node. We're waiting for a runner that has on the Ubuntu latest label. It's initializing our node 16 container image, checking the versions of node NPM. It's checking out our GitHub um, code. It's running NPM install to install that moment package. Ran node app um, app.js. There's our hello demo, March 10th, 2022, which was the date we recorded this video. Um, and that's everything we needed to actually build a node application and run it. Um, direct, well, build being a loose term for what we did, but just a really simple node application within a GitHub Actions workflow.